Street High School. Point guard. Actually, we had a outbreak season. Uh, the best season, I think, that Car Street and I had past 10 years. Uh, we won, we went second place in regions and uh, second round in the uh, state playoffs. Um, what was your record? I believe it was 14 and 14. Um, really, we had a young team. We only had three seniors this year. And um, it wasn't really tough. It was just like us playing together and bonding together. Um, us learning how to lose, that was really the biggest part. Cause we had a, bu a bunch of talent on the team, and we did not know how to like take a loss, so we will blame it on everything but the actual problem. But uh, towards the end of the season, we did we did good. We brought it together, um, beat some powerhouses, and uh, stuck with a few teams that actually talked. Um, I think we lost by three against uh, Greenbrier. Um, I think they was number two or three in uh, 6A, and um, we lost, matter of fact, we lost 13 of our games with less than four points. So all the losses that we had, they were less than four, four points. Um, I think we had 250. Okay. Yeah. Where y'all, where they had it um, at? James Brown Arena. Oh, okay. Was a lot of people there? It was a lot. I ain't expect to be that many people. Right now, I'm looking into playing a uh, college ball at Truett McCollin in Columbia International. Yeah, Truett McCollin is uh, in Cleveland, Georgia. It's like three hours away from here, and then Columbia International is like only an hour, hour 50. Oh, well, yeah, about, a, about two hours. Being younger, I always had a ball in my hand, and uh, I was always younger. Well, people that I played with, they was always older than me. I ain't like playing with people that were my age because I was better. And uh, since I was short, I like the challenge. And uh, I got to middle school. I got cut every year I went out there. And uh, I ain't like the feeling because all my friends on the team and I ain't made the team. So uh, my 10th grade year, I went out for uh, JV basketball, made the team, and uh, did pretty good. I did a lot of. I didn't play AU until my 11th grade year, but uh, 10th grade, I did a lot of a lot of work. That's when my game really evolved. Um, I couldn't really. I was short, so I, only thing I could do was like dribble. I couldn't shoot. I couldn't do nothing. So, uh, like I, I was happy that I made the team, but I ain't like the fact that I sat on the bench. Like my parents and people would come to the game and just watch me sit on the bench. I ain't like that. So, yeah, uh, that's a bad feeling. Yeah, so yeah, I, uh, yeah. it start start so, working. So, what's the most points you scored in the game? Most points. High school is 21. Oh, AU, I don't, I don't know. That's good, man. That's good. Man, that, that game, huh? Yeah, that game. My, <laughs> what I had. Uh, I actually got my first dunk that game, man. Okay, what, what team you were playing against? Uh, Harlem. Harlem? Oh, yeah. Okay, it was a pretty good team? No. No? Oh, okay. okay. I tend to, like, take the game a little too serious. So uh, when people on the court, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, some people that's on the court and they uh, just say they dogs. Like, they just they just dogs and they get out there. And you got some that's just lazy. And uh, I tend to get out there with some of my teammates that's, that's not dogs because it's like you make the team kind of look bad. You got uh, everybody out here working and um, you just not picking up where you need to. And uh, it costs a few altercations. But it ain't really bad. Now, I got my first technical because of frustrations. And uh, it was a Christmas tournament against uh, Evans High School. And it's, uh, it's I don't want to say his name, but um, <laughs> yeah, he kind of got into my head. But he wasn't really that good of a player to me, he wasn't. Um, he was just talking and just talking, getting in my head. And uh, I think he just pushed me. Like, he got up onto me, just pushed me, and I tried to flop, so the ref called a, called a foul, but he didn't. So, I got back up, and then he got in my face, and like, I don't really like people all up in my face, and uh, he was just talking, and he just yelled in my ear, and I just snapped, and I pushed him, and the ref called a tech on me. The coach had came, he took me out for a little bit. Then, you know what I'm saying, I was sitting on the bench, he looked at me, he gave me a smile, 
I told the coach to put me back in the game. And he put me back in the game. He, I could tell he didn't really trust me when, he, when I got back in because he was like kind of hesitant. He didn't want me to come down the court with the ball. So um, eventually I got the ball. I just, just went off. I think I had an M1. I had a block, then I had a three, all in like a, a minute span. And I, I just blacked out and just started, yeah, I just, just started hooping. Oh, that's and then, a side, that's a side. Yeah. I'm really into music. I, uh, really, I grew up in church playing the drums, and uh, ever since then, I just, music just grew on me. I like, I just like all types of music. Um, it really, Music really put me into a, a, a safe space where I can just go in my room, and just listen to music, and it just I just clear my head. Like I can be mad just about to erupt, just put some music on, just relax and chill, and it just I don't know. I just fell in love with it. Just something that mm, that's really my first love, though. I use uh, basketball to get me to where I want to be at, but really. Um, after I say I get done doing the basketball, then I'm going to transition to music. Alright, top five. Now I ain't going to do it in order. Cause, uh, so, person I try to model my game after is AI, Allen Iverson. Uh, I ain't going to say I grew up watching him, but like once I started getting the feel for basketball, I started watching a lot of AI videos. He, uh, he really the best point guard to me. Um, second, I say Derrick Rose. Um, that's who I, another person I try to model my game, I think, because I can, some people say I got bounce and uh, like the dunk and stuff like that. He just very explosive. But um, then I say Michael Jordan, because he revolutionized the game. He just, he MJ. Um, I say number four, Kobe. Uh, he just, can't say too much about Kobe. He's one of the best players in the league. And uh, last one, I'll say Nate Robinson because he might be my favorite player because he's short. And um, out of everybody doubted him because he was small, he proved a lot. That man won a dunk contest and everything. Now, the dunk contest, that's that's crazy. We man like 5'10 and not that. Yeah, that's yeah. right. It's crazy. Now, I thought it was going to be Golden State, but uh, they've been getting smacked. <laughs> and, uh, they hurt, man. Yeah, see, they didn't expect Toronto to be that smart. Toronto don't play, what it was, they played a box of one. Because Curry is really the only superstar that was out there uh, game three. And uh, they shut Curry down. It was over. It was a rout. So, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, shout out to my mama and my pops. Um... They really sacrificed a lot for me to have. Uh, I don't, don't want to get to it in detail, cause it's, uh, but yeah, they they sacrificed a lot. Um, I love them to death. Uh, my grandma, all them. They put so much faith and hope into me. And one day I can hope I'll pay them back for uh, everything they done did for me.